If you are heading to the Tsukiji fish market, use the exit number one. Yes, this is the way. I haven't visited the Tsukiji station for a while. I'm wondering how it looks like right now. So this is the Hibiya station and the, this is Honganji temple. If you are heading to the fish market, this is the area. So you just need to keep straight to the left. This is the Tsukiji Honganji temple right next to the Tsukiji fish market. It's huge and nice temple. It's October 2nd, 26 degrees. Humidity is 51%. It's already August, but it's still hot here. However, from the next week, it will be cooler. So if you're visiting here in Japan, Hi. make sure to bring the light jacket. You will arrive at the big intersection. And yes, the Tsukiji Fish Market is just in front of you. That's the entrance. During September, there were fewer travelers in Japan. However, in October, usually there are more travelers. Probably people are wondering how the Japan looks like right now. So today, I will walk from Tsukiji, Ginza, and also going through the Tokyo station. Hope this video will help for your next Japan trip. I'm planning to eat some seafood bowl here. But beforehand, let me show you guys how much usually it costs. Usually, seafood bowl will cost from 1,500 Japanese yen. However, you can still find a cheaper one as well. For example, that tuna bowl is 700 Japanese yen. It's really cheap. Oh, seems like this restaurant is really popular. I'm wondering what it is. Oh, it's a hormone, which is the intestine bowl. It smells really good and looking pretty good too. Price is 900 Japanese yen. Oh, interesting. This place sells seafood pasta. Sounds good and it looks good too. If you don't like the low fish, probably that intestine place would be a great option. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan CB. I'm Ryan Seder. Alright, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so many people over here, even on the weekday. Let's go to the back street. This street was like a ghost town during the pandemic. And I really worried about it. However, now, yep. Totally back. If you are looking for one of the fanciest food, yep, this is the place. Look at that Wagyu sea urchin. Price is 13,000 Japanese yen. <laughs> well, it's just too expensive for me, so I've never tried that. If you have tried, please let me know if it was good or it was okay. Look at these fancy restaurants. Sea urchin is one of the most popular food here. And look at this emperor. Yep, the price is 18,000 Japanese yen. <laughs> Must be good, I hope. <laughs> well, I haven't reached to this emperor level yet. But uh, even this Kanade, the regular rail, haven't reached yet. Hopefully, one day I can get there. Let's keep exploring. Oh my goodness, there are just too many people everywhere. It's already 1 p.m. though. Japanese yen it's really cheap now so for travelers must feeling you know everything is like discounted <laughs> well unfortunately no for local stuff <laughs> yeah oh this place seems like it's cheaper however the sea urchin is totally different depends on the kind probably this one they use the bahun uni the small boy is 4000 Japanese yen it must be a good uni this one for the middle one the price is 2,000 Japanese yen. I'm not sure how big it is, but it doesn't describe. So not sure if it's good or not. Let me see. Oh my goodness, look at that huge crab arm. <laughs> Must be yummy. It's the king crab. Price is 5,000 Japanese yen for you. One arm. Well, those two club legs. I can spend the whole day in the Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, seems like they are making really good money. Let's keep walking. This place feels like, you know, I'm in the foreign country. This back street too. Wow, it's hard to walk. Now we are at the second back street. It's the Unagi restaurants. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
I feel that it's cheaper. You know, it is already expensive though. However, compared to the other restaurants, it's much cheaper and、uh, had a good deal, I believe. Especially this one. What about the 409 Japanese yen? With the scallop and the unagi. Not bad. I knew this place would be crowded, but I was planning to eat over here, so that's why I'm here after the lunch time. However, yep, it's much more than my expectation. It's almost 1 30, but still, there are so many people in front of the restaurants. And it's one of my favorite egg p l a c e Their tamagoyaki is pretty good. Price is still 150 Japanese yen. Seems like not that many people in line. Let's be in line. Hi, I don't know. Sweet. Finally, I get it. Mmm. Compared to the other place, it is really sweet and soft, and it just made it so, yeah, it's warm. I love it.、Mm. By the way, this one called tamagoyaki in Japanese. If you love it, definitely you gotta try that. Yeah, one of the best spots. It is really popular for locals. The shop's name is Yamacho. Yamacho. Usually, tamagoyaki is either sweet or dashi flavor. But I love the sweeter one. <laughs> My mom always cooked for me the sweet tamagoyaki when I was a kid, so I grew up with sweet tamagoyaki. I love dashi flavor one though, but I just prefer the sweet tamagoyaki. Seems like this side, not that many people. Here, they have the same price and the same explanation, so probably it's the same store. Yep, the king crab is 5,000 Japanese yen too. So if we eat, maybe we should eat it here. I w a n t to eat sea urchin, but small for 4,000 Japanese yen, it's just too expensive. Let me see what else we have. Now we are at third row of the back street. This street, not that many restaurants and not that many people neither. Oh, seems like it's super fancy restaurant. So let me see what they have. Oh my goodness, usually I feel that it's super expensive, 3,800 Japanese yen. But、uh, you know, after watching that price, I feel it's cheaper. <laughs> well, probably that's a skiji magic. You know, my sense of price is already paralyzed. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that, that's interesting. It's this soy sauce raw shrimp and also the spicy version as well. The price is 500 Japanese yen, 700 Japanese yen. Sounds good. I've never tried it. Let's do it. There is a tissue and also <laughs> sweet. We have a glove to eat. I'm super excited. So, this is the soy sauce wine. Ah, looking pretty good. Probably I'd better try the less taste one first because this spicy one had the stronger taste. Anyways, let's eat. Eat a lucky bus. It's It's sweet and a nice lemon flavor. Plus, the soy sauce perfectly matches with the low shrimp. Loving it. How about this spicy one? Yep,、yeah, this one looks spicy. Hopefully, it's not that spicy though. Eat a lucky bus. <laughs> I just realized there is a lemon. Probably I'd better squeeze it. Yep, now it has a nice lemon flavor. It would be better. Itadakimasu.、Mm. I personally like the spicy one. It's not yet spicy, it is also sweet. And the lemon sourness? Good. <laughs> yeah. You know, finally I could eat the seafood over here. I'm super happy. All right, that was pretty good. So let's keep eating. Let's go. Oh, here, they sell the Wagyu sushi. 
So now, Japan's travel situation. Some places are super crowded like before, and some prices are increases as well. However, not as much as compared to other countries. So, you know, still, you can enjoy. It's already 2 p.m. Probably we can find less crowded place. So let's keep walking. So we came back here and it seems like less people. So today, let's eat over here. Let's order this one. It says Gokujo Uni. That means the best uni. <laughs> let's see if they have a really Gokujo or not. Let's do it. All right, so I ordered a small bowl. 2,000 Japanese yen. Let's see if the sea urchin is good or not. Yep, that's the one. There are places to eat, but uh, you know, since I'm filming, so I stay outside so that I can film easier. All right, here we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. And also, I ordered a smaller bowl. I was expecting, you know, much smaller one, but you know, this side, I think it's already good. <sighs> really excited. So let's eat it. See, chin taste could be totally different depending on the quality and I'm wondering if it's good or not. Seems like there are two different kinds of sea urchin. This one is something yellow and this one is just less color. Let's see. Itadakimasu! Oh. I like the sweet uni, and I don't like the uni has some weird taste. If you eat the cheaper uni, usually, you know, it tastes like super weird. But uh, if you eat the good uni, it's sweet. This one has not that super sweet taste, however, not bad smell later. How about like, this yellow one? Itadakimasu. Oh, oh shit. to be honest, this uni is not the best of the best. However, thinking about the price, I think it's pretty good. And we have big ikura. Mm. <laughs> yes, only the sea urchin. I have a super high expectation. However, except the sea urchin. Pretty much every seafood, if it's not smelly or bad, makes you wish. Hmm. This means to tuna perfectly matches with wasabi soy sauce. I love it. Hmm. Well, if you never tried a good uni, trust me, it totally tastes different. Well, it could be really expensive, but uh, maybe only one time for a life. You can try it, and uh, if you taste the best uni, which is really sweet one, you will be in love with the sea urchin. I guarantee you. Mm. But uh, sometimes, you know, the price can't tell the quality. So as long as I found a good uni spot, I will let you guys know. But uh, even if it's not the best uni, I am happy to eat them. Mm. Oh, I am so full and so happy. All right, now let's walk to the Ginza. And let me show you guys how the Ginza looks like right now. Let's keep walking. By the way, as you see, many stores is closing already. Right now it's 2.30. If you visit here around 3 p.m., more stores is closing. So if you are planning to visit here, visit here in early time. Before lunch, would be the best. I need coffee. I want to drink cafe latte. Yes. Here we go. Sweet. Ah, drinking coffee after the lunch. That's the perfect time. All right. So now let's keep walking. If you visit Skiji and planning to visit Ginza, you don't have to use the train, you can just walk. Firstly, keep straight. You see, that's a Skiji station and Hongan's temple. We are walking this way. 
So Tsukiji and Ginza, actually it is really close. We are over here and uh, this is a Tsukiji market and uh, Kabuki theater is here. So it's just this much distance, definitely you can walk. But let's keep walking. Let's time how long it will take from here to the Kabuki theater. After walking three minutes, you will find a perk on your left and uh, you see the building. Looks like Japan old house. Yes, that's a Kabuki theater. Oh, look at the flowers. Seems like autumn is coming. Here, it's already East Ginza Station. By the way, East in Japanese is Higashi. Higashi. Technically, we are not in Ginza Station yet, but East Ginza Station, it's like a Ginza Station. Yeah, Ginza Station, you need to walk more. Here we go. So this is Kabukiza, Kabuki Theater. From there, totally, it's six minutes. If you just want to experience Kabuki, the ticket is not that expensive. It's starting from 4,000 Japanese yen. However, this seat, it is really far from the stage and you can see the actors, it's like, you know, like tiny beings. So if it's your very first time and probably you don't experience the Kabuki anymore, I recommend to get the best one, yeah. Otherwise, you can't really see the actor so that you can really enjoy that. By the way, every time they have a different kabuki. But if you have not that much interest, even you don't need this, there is a cheaper ticket. So the show basically has the six parts and if you just want to attend the one part, for example this one, the very beginning show, you can just join it with the 700 Japanese yen. It's in the fourth floor. Well, this place again, you know, the actor is really tiny, you can see. However, you can enjoy the atmosphere of Kabuki and the price is cheap as well, so maybe you can try that. If you watch the whole show, probably you will kind of get bored because you don't understand Japanese and also you don't have the background of Kabuki. So yeah, if it's your first time to watch Kabuki and you don't have that much strong interest, I strongly recommend to get the cheaper one so that you can experience the Kabuki. Yeah, experience. That's the important thing. Anyways, that's a Japan travel tip. Let's keep walking. Here we go. So we are at Ginza. Today, let me introduce several fancy department store in Ginza. Basically, it's the fancy shopping mall street. You see the station in front of you. That's already Ginza station. So now we are going to the Mitsukoshi department store. Here, they have a garden over here. It's in the ninth floor. There is an elevator. Here, here we go. It has nice atmosphere and really quiet too. There are many cafes. Oh, now it has the exhibition of the moon. Wow, beautiful. It's made by the real picture of the moon. So yes, those crater, I'm not sure how to call it in English, is the real thing. And here we go. There is a terrace seed over here. It's this small garden. Yes, this is the ninth floor. However, there are just too many tall buildings, so it doesn't feel like, you know, we are at top of the building, huh? As you guys know, we can't make live stream from the department store. So whenever I make the live stream, I couldn't introduce here. But in edited video, pretty much I can go everywhere. So. I'm loving it. By the way, there is a tiny shrine over here too. Inside the department store, it's really clean and a nice atmosphere. Also, it's like the same with the fancy hotel, having a nice smell. Seems like it's the VIP floor. Alright, so let's go to the next spot. <laughs> Hato bus there. So this is iconic spot of Ginza. Oh, interesting. Seems like they are fixing the Seiko clock now. By the way, for Sony camera user, yes, there is a Sony store. We just have a several Sony store in Japan. Wines Osaka, Tokyo, Nagoya, you know, in several big cities only. Yep, and this is one of the place. 
on the weekend, this street will be the pedestrian zone. So if you want to enjoy the Ginza walk, probably you'd better come over here on Sunday so that you can walk peacefully. <laughs> Titanium in Japanese is Titanium. Titanium. <laughs> well, I'm not sure when you can use it, but I will give you guys a small Japanese lesson. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's keep walking. Fendi. And the next spot is just over there. It's Ginza 6, relatively new department store in Ginza. To be honest, I don't have much stuff to shop over here. But inside the shopping mall, usually there is an art and also there is a place to take a rest as well. So that's why I love this shopping mall's atmosphere. <laughs> also, this place smells really good too. That's why I'm loving it. The smell is really important. If you think this place is too fancy, don't worry about it. In front of it, there is a big Uniqlo. So that maybe you can shop clothes and save money. Right now, Japanese yen is cheaper. So probably even if it's the same clothes, it will be much cheaper. That's what I believe. Well, I've never checked the Uniqlo clothes outside of Japan, so I'm not sure. But I believe so. Yeah, probably yes. As you see, many cars tinted parking in front of the building, probably some VIP is riding over there. Can I find the Elon Musk? <laughs> oh really? They still have iPhone 15. I thought you need to wait it. But seems like they still have iPhone 15. Hmm. So now let's walk to Tokyo Station. Heading to Tokyo Station, you just need to keep straight toward to the train track. You see the Shinkansen over there? That's just coming from Tokyo Station. And here. It's the Lumine department store at Yurakcho. In this Lumine, they have a Konica Minota's planetarium. It's really beautiful. If you love planetarium, maybe you can visit here. <laughs> just keep straight. The atmosphere of town will be changing. There is a bicycle parking, 6 hours for 100 Japanese yen. Oh, that's cheap. Nice. <laughs> Halloween! Welcome to Japan! This place too! By the way, those are the pachinko stores though. Now we are at Yurakcho Station. This is the next station of Tokyo Station. It's a very popular spot for Japanese. There is always the TV interviews. <laughs> yep, seems like they are doing the interview today as well. Also, this is popular spot for musician too. Oh, she's pretty good. Today, let's walk through inside the big camera. Big camera is really popular electric appliance store in Japan. They have so many stuffs. Yes, even they sell the KitKat too. iPhone. Usually they have the cell phone stores at the first floor and many other electric appliance on the other floors. They have Apple store too. Oh, this is a white color yes i wanted to have the white color one but uh sold out though oh that's the meta quest i want to have the vr google one day i don't have one yeah i heard it's pretty good uh, i'm waiting for the apple vision pro but it could be very expensive so i'm thinking to get it's meta quest. Should I get one? If someone tried a meta quest before, please let me know in the comment down below if you recommend me or not. After get up from the big camera. Yes, that's the Koksai Forum. It's Tokyo International Forum. On the weekend, sometimes they have a free market over here. It's fun place. Oh, I didn't know that. The Shake Shack is under construction. Will it be better? I'm just wondering. And now, they have Krispy Kreme donuts over here. I personally like Mr. Donuts more, 
But uh, if you are the big fan of the Krispy Kreme, here you go. After passing Tokyo Forum, there is a Tokyo station already. The glass is changing the color. Probably mid of November or end of November, they will totally change. The town becomes really beautiful during the autumn season. There will be more and more travelers. Can't wait. We are already at the Tokyo Station Marunouchi Square. Now we see so many young people wearing the suit. Yes, they are the college student hunting the job now. Job hunting in Japanese we call shukatsu, shukatsu. Also, it's time for the school trip as well. So many people having a school trip now. It's still 4 p.m. However, as you see, the sky is getting darker already. Yes, the sunset time is already 5.30. In the summertime, it's 7.30, so two hours earlier. If you are traveling to Japan this season, you have to be careful. It is totally different compared to the summer season. So now, let's go to check inside the Tokyo station. Do we have some special vending machine over here? Seems like they haven't changed one, huh? Yep. In Tokyo Station, there are so many students by the school trip. We will see more and more. Usually, we have the last school trip in the second grade of the high school in this season. For the third grade, everyone gets busy for the, you know, the college entrance exam. That's why this is the last season for the travel. By the way, taking exam in Japanese is Juken, Juken. Well, I'm not sure when you can use this Japanese, but uh, you know, it's good to know. Right now, we are at the Marunouchi side of Tokyo Station. This side, there are more salary mans, but not that many travelers. Many travelers in the Marunouchi Square, but not in the underground. By the way, this is a place to get the Shinkansen ticket. Seems like it's crowded, but uh, not as bad as before. Still, there is a long line in the Midori no Madoguchi ticket office now. Probably more travelers in the IS exit side, so let's go to the IS exit side. Now we are at Tokyo Ek Ichibangai. This is the street which have the many stores and also the restaurants. Oh, I thought this place would be more crowded, but uh, it's not that bad, huh? <laughs> Still, so many people in the jump shop though. It is so popular. Here too, we see so many college students wearing suits as well. Speaking of my hunting job experience, I have graduated the college from the States. I got the several offers from the company in the States, but at the same time, I do the job hunting in Japan as well. Well, it's super complicated story. Maybe one day I can share. But uh, yeah, eventually I have decided to work in Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, and became a salary man. <laughs> it's a long story. Anyways, if you want to know a little bit of myself, please check the very first video, hashtag 001, you know, Sayonara Tokyo, hello YouTube. Yeah, that's a video I have made for the very first one. <laughs> yep, until here, it's a long journey, but uh, that's the very first video, so please check that. Well, I always make the seems like crazy decision, but uh, you know, I never regret it. I just follow my heart always, and whatever I want to do, I follow and uh, I try my best. That's my motto. Here we go. This is the ice side, and also that's the bus going to the Haneda Airport. Seems like it's not that crowded, huh? This is my favorite spot. Probably because more travelers, there are more people over here. In Yae's side, there are so many buildings under construction. Yep, more and more tall buildings are coming. Yeah, Tokyo Station will be changed. Oh, you know what? I just realized probably they're not for the hunting job here. They are from the company. In Japan system, before entering the company, there is the naiteshiki. So in the naiteshiki, usually they have the meeting 
and meet up the future co-workers. So that's kind of Japan's culture. First, you get the offer and then attend the naiteshiki, which is kind of like meet up event before the entrance and they will enter the company the next spring, first of the April. Yeah, that's kind of like very traditional way. So probably some company had the naiteshiki around here. That's why there are so many fresh graduated from the college they are here. That's what I believe. So, no for hunting job. Well, maybe some people were for the hunting job in the last interview, but uh, probably, yeah, they are from the Naiteshiki. By the way, Tokyo Station is a really popular place to taking wedding photos. So there are so many people taking photo in front of Tokyo Station. Yep. In the nighttime, you will be amazed how many people taking photo over here. If you keep straight, you get to the Imperial Palace. That's the Tokyo Station, center of Japan. And the center exit, just going to the Imperial Palace straightway. Yeah, that's the tradition. And this place is a really traditional place, so that's how it works. All right, hopefully you could see Japan travel situation through this video. I usually make the Japan travel and travel guide videos. However, occasionally I make the Japan travel situation update video as well. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video and summarize live stream. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Yes, more adventures are coming. So see you in the next video. See you Ciao. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. I got the fruit tea. This one, five different kinds. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Anyways, <laughs> yes, I went to Tsukiji. I felt like that's foreign country. I was amazed by how many people over there, but more. I was amazed by the how much it cost. Well, yes, Japan prices are increased, but just a little bit. But Skiji over there, yes, they are you know following the foreign country standards, so that uh, good price. <laughs> well, but I believe the people in Skiji over there, the customers were I guess ninety seven percent are the travelers from foreign country, so yeah, probably they don't care. But for locals, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, in the future video too, I will travel more and I will give you guys my honest local opinion in the video. So yeah, hopefully you understand the, you know, how local things. <laughs> You know, sometimes there's a tourist trap. Even me, I was trapped by the tourist trap. However, even we pay a little bit more, as long as we enjoyed it, I think it worth it because we are paying for the experience. As long as we happy, it worth it. So let's trap by the tourist trap. Sure.